Greetings from Family Ministry. I'm Lillian Guerra, and today we are going to make sacrifice beads. Sacrifice beads are an instrument of prayer created by St. Therese of Lisieux. She was born in 1873 and died in 1897. She was canonized just 17 years after her death. Sacrifice beads are made out of a simple cord, 10 beads, a crucifix, and a medal to our Blessed Mother. And they're used as a way to discipline yourself, your mind, and to bring grace to your life. The great thing about sacrifice beads is that anybody can make them. It takes no longer than 10 minutes to make, and I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're interested in getting your own kit to make sacrifice beads, all you have to do is contact us at St. Patrick's Parish Office. Um, scroll down and you'll find all the contact information. You can either get a kit, or if you want one already made for you, one of our family ministers would be happy to make you some sacrifice beads, and you can order them, we can ship them, or we can just have them ready for you to pick up. Once you get your kit, the only thing you're gonna need besides the kit is a lighter or a box of matches and a pair of scissors. Traditionally, sacrifice beads should have no more than 10 beads. You can ask to have a couple more beads included because sometimes it's nice to have a reminder that you should start your chain of beads with an Our Father and end with a Hail Mary. And so when I made these with my son last year, I made sure that he would remember by having a bead at the end and at the beginning. But today we're gonna make a traditional set of beads with just 10 beads, the crucifix, and our set of miraculous metal, Virgin of Guadalupe, and St. Therese. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your string, and it's gonna be frayed, but rosary cord has the great advantage of being waxed, and so when um, you get it, you wanna prevent it from fraying by simply lighting the end of the cord. The wax will melt, and that will help you. So you see the wax is melting, and what you do is just take that and flatten it out with your scissors, or you can have another instrument. And then you wanna snip it a little bit so that it makes its way through those beads um, easily. All right, I'm gonna take the other end, do the same thing. And again, flatten it out. And again, you can use scissors or you can use um, a knife. And so now you're going to be pretty sure here that no more frame will take place. So you take your crucifix and that's going to be the center of this string. Lay it flat in front of you. Make sure you got more or less even cord on both sides. And first thing you want to do is make a knot so the crucifix does not move. You can make a knot like this. And since we're not gonna use a prayer bead, I would suggest that we make a kind of barrel knot right next to the crucifix. And that will serve to remind you to say they're our father when you begin your day with the sacrifice beads. That's all. So, where do you keep your sacrifice beads? I keep them in my pocket. I use them when I'm stressed um, and when Sacrifice beads like these are intended to help you transform the mundane, unpleasant, and difficult tasks of daily life into little gifts of sacrifice for the Lord. Start by praying the Our Father and Hail Mary, and then move a bead from the medals of our Blessed Mother and Saint Therese toward Jesus every time you make a sacrifice during the day. When you are tempted to get upset that you respond with love and joy, when you are too tired to do something, perhaps for someone else, but you do it anyway, when you need to do a chore and decide to do it the best you can, all of these things are little gifts for God. Move one of the beads and know you are following in St. Therese's little way to our Lord. Hey family, it's Father Lawrence, and I'm here at St. Francis High School's uh, chapel. St. Therese of Lisieux is one of the great spiritual doctors of the church. She came up with this idea of the little way of sacrifice, of being a child of God. So what she does in her little way is she wants to be 
a child of God, and so she has complete trust in God. And in fact, her little way is such a way that people who did not like her, well, they came to understand a little bit more about who she was because she just, she would never really complain. If she was treated unfairly by her superior, she would just tell the superior she would try harder the next time. And she would give credit to the work that was being praised to the other sisters in the household. It was her little way of sacrifice, her little way of not complaining, her little way of trying to do the best she could. The same little way that St. Teresa of Calcutta took up when she says we do little things with great love. And so we have this, this spiritual teaching from this great Saint Therese of Lisieux. And you can read all about her in her autobiography, which is very interesting, the story of a soul. But we also have some letters she wrote. And you know, we all might think that Therese of Lisieux's life was just easy. I mean, she is known as the little flower. And so that it was just, you know, she came up, but there were storms in her life as well. Many of her brothers and sisters died. Her mother died at a young age when she was young. And uh, there was suffering in the family, but they never let it get him down. Her parents, Louis and Marie, uh, he was a watchmaker, she was a lace maker, craftsmen that were providing for their family. The children were born and they would suffer sickness and die. They never lost their faith in God. They are also saints of the church. And a couple of her other sisters are up for canonization. So it wasn't that Therese's life was absent of suffering, but it was her relationship with Jesus, her great faith that God was going to make it all right anyway, that sustained her through this. And so even in this time, we can't be together to make these sacrifice beads. And I'm so grateful to uh, Miss Lily for putting this together for us. But we can still offer little things with great love in line with what Therese of the Sioux would do to show how much we love and appreciate each other. And those little things, well, maybe I would rather play a video game, but I can clean up my room and help my mom, right? A little sacrifice, I can move a little bead, or I can give someone a compliment, or maybe even just call someone and say, hi, how are you doing? There's no end to the little things we could do to help one another out in this time. So know that we're praying for you. I miss you, I hope to see you soon. But let's try to practice the little way of St. Therese of the Sioux and become children of God. All right, when you get to this point, you want to be sure that you leave enough room for you to move those beads. So you want it more or less to leave about an inch and a half to two inches of space at the top. You're gonna make one big barrel knot, single barrel knot, real easy. that real tight. Okay, and now all that's left is to add your metals. So we're gonna put first Virgin Mary, we're going to place St. Teresa of the Sioux on the top. Make sure that she's facing the same direction. And finally our rose. Our little flower. And at this point, all you have to do is tie a big old knot. So what you want to do once you have that knot tied is you want to cut the ends of your cord and once again you're going to need that flame to prevent any fraying of the cord. Just pull that up and burn that thing off. That nice and tight and sometimes you can flatten it out or you can even stick them together so that you have one cord. Lots of wax there. Okay, 
and then you just scoop it a little bit. And you're ready to go. Okay, mom, how do you use your sacrifice beads? I use them to help me slow down, think before I speak, and to pray more. Thank you so much. God bless you, and make sure that you pray every day. Blessings from all of us at St. Patrick Church's Family Ministry. What was it that I said first? Reading the Mary Ministry, I'm gonna get it. Today we're gonna to make sacrifice beads. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> okay, they're not. That was good.